believe it or not, but this is Counter-Strike. Or more specifically, Lost Coast, a map designed specifically to test out your computer's performance in CS2 using 8K models and things like that ported from other game engines such as Nanite. The Source 2 engine, of course, has broken a ton of things with CSGO and has led to many headaches for many competitive players, and especially so for surf players and things like that. However, recent developments have changed things very much in a positive direction, and of course, welcome changes like better engine performance and things like that come with different downsides of things not working and breaking, but now things are starting to be ironed out in a way that custom servers, surf, and things like that are actually becoming a lot more playable. In this quick video, I'll be talking about the current state of CSGO custom servers, playing on a few of them, giving you an idea of how things work, and of course, showing you what's different in CS2. Starting off, Lost Coast. This is just a tech demo slash performance map, and of course, is either playable with bots in an offline match, or of course, you can host it yourself on a server. Performance is pretty good, and things work really well, but this map's more just a demo of things that are changing. The performance of having much more detailed models and textures loaded in is something that's vastly improved through CS2. That's not the only change that's come to the Source engine. There's many big changes, especially when it comes to scripting and things like that for custom map creation. While it's broken a lot of things, it's also opened a lot of doors. CSGO's hammer and scripting language was really limited to say the least, but maps like this by Lily Q are a great example of what's changed. This is a map that's Minecraft themed that is completely destructible. Every single cube here can be destroyed, and of course you can sculpt your own map. This is actually a huge tech demo, while you may not think it's that crazy. Having this many scriptable elements that are interactive and things like that previously just was not possible in CSGO. This is a whole new level of crazy, even if it doesn't seem like it. I mean, heck, the same creator even made a Duck Hunt game mode that's actually here to test out your reflexes and train your aim. So yeah, things are definitely a little bit more possible with a much more fleshed out scripting language in the new Hammer editor. Not only were resource limits changed, but things were improved in many facets that are yet to be seen in the future. If you're interested in playing any of these maps, you'll find links to all of them that I mentioned here in the description down below. It's quite a bit of fun, especially for a little bit of warm up before a game in a way that you're definitely not used to. But let's get a little bit deeper besides scripting changes and new map ideas into servers. On the game's release, pretty much all of the other game modes like Zombie, KZ, B-Hop, Surf, and the rest were left behind in the dust with much love and attention needed. And now, finally, after huge recent developments, these servers are going to be better than ever. If you're not already aware, CS2 has other game modes other than the usual Premier, Competitive, etc. all hidden away now behind this little button, the Community Server Browser. In here, if we choose to open it, we'll get the brand new and improved server browser that's actually empty. For me in South Africa, there's a handful of local servers and that's it. You may think I'm region limited, but no, there's actually three or four foreign servers here with 300 plus ping and that's it. There's no more servers. Previously, you've needed to use the favorites tab, history, or even punch in server IPs directly to play on custom servers. But if you weren't already aware, you're missing out on tens of thousands of servers. All you need to access them is a third party website like cs2browser.com. It's not sponsored or anything. This is literally just a website with tons of servers on them. You can join by clicking the little play button and, of course, search through the tens of game modes Zombie Escape, Surf, Bunny Hop, KZ, Deathmatch, Retake, etc. etc. All of your favorites from CSGO are here and most likely working very well in CS2. Surf is definitely one of the ones that needed the most attention, with CS2 breaking practically everything, the rest of these having their own weird quirks and things like that. But let's quickly talk about what's changed and why things are really going to start getting better as of pretty much this week. First of all, Surf. This is one of the biggest, if not the biggest and most widely known CS map or game mode type, but it's still struggling to get where it needs to go. The community has done a ton of heavy lifting trying to get maps to work properly and get rid of sticky ramps and similar bugs where you're surfing and suddenly stop, lose all your momentum, or just ping off in a random direction. But now, after very recent developments, there have been huge fixes for ramp bugs on many popular servers and maps, leading to the game mode really getting a much needed second wind. This time, it's infinitely better to surf in recent weeks than pretty much ever before in CS2. We're not still quite where we were in CS2 
years ago, but huge developments have been made and it's more playable now than ever. There are thousands of surf servers and probably one local to your country, even if you're somewhere obscure, as surf is probably the biggest game mode out there. Developers and mod creators have been working on porting countless maps and you can find tons of them in the Steam Workshop if not already loaded onto map pools on different servers. The thing that's changed quite a bit is popular servers have had config tweaks, plugin updates, etc. that have led to Surf becoming much more stable and much more playable. If you, much like me, were a fan of Surf, Behob, KZ and the rest of these game modes, you were probably likely very let down on CS2's release and in the months following. But just trust me, give it another try now, especially if you like game modes other than Surf. Surf still needs quite a bit of love, especially for very high ping servers, as there's a handful of weird things that can happen with high ping, over 100, etc. But it was almost no different in CSGO, there's still noticeably many issues to be sorted. Next, let's talk about KZ. KZ's a B-Hop included kind of parkour game mode, and it's always been great fun. But now, it seems to be far more annoying on high ping servers, and being in South Africa, there's not much server choice. Playing on EU with 100 plus ping is painful. There's random points where you're pushed around by the server suddenly, or your jumps don't register and you take a jump, hit your head on an invisible ceiling, etc. However, with CS2's upgraded source engine, raised limits on objects, models, entities, and more, the map possibilities with CS2 are actually pretty much endless. Heck, there's even an always up remake in CS2, which is actually surprisingly fun. I assume even more so if you're playing on a low ping server, but I can't relate, or of course just hosting it to play yourself offline. You don't really need server plugins to play this game mode, and most CS2 game modes in general unless you want checkpoints, timers, and things like that. Then Behop. Behop is surprisingly smooth, especially so on local servers, obviously. Everything from sideways to W only and other unique playstyles work pretty much perfectly. Behop was one of the first game modes to have maps ported to CS2, as you don't need much to get it working. I mean, heck, there was even an auto b-hop CVAR in CSGO, but I don't think it's quite yet added to CS2. Holding down space on many popular servers does work as you expect, and you hop around, gaining speed, etc. Performance is fantastic, and the maps look even better than CSGO because of lighting upgrades, engine changes, and more. But of course, strange changes in momentum and jumping issues can still happen when you're on hyping servers, probably much like CSGO. Then Zombie Escape. This is one of the biggest game modes player-wise when it comes to servers of 64 players, if not more, all mag dumping massive weapons into a horde of zombies at once. This works perfectly in CS2, and the CS2 devs have even helped iron out issues with insane health numbers, for example, like with zombies reaching 10,000 HP. Obviously, in a game where 100 HP is the usual, certain issues can arise, and it's fantastic that CS2 devs have done something to help the community. I mean, heck, there's even randomly generated maps. The further you play, there's more possibilities. Pog World, for a lack of better terms, is a pretty pog map. Uh, you. Anyways, with that, CS2 is actually surprisingly promising, and with recent developments, things are really looking up for the game. Please, Valve, just fix the in-game browser so we don't need to use third-party websites and things like that. The old browser was good enough, just try and fix some weird issues and glitches with your current server browser and things will be pretty much perfect. Anyways, that's really it. That's all that I have to say. Thank you all for watching. That's really it with this quick video. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao! We beat Pog World. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We beat it. We did it. We did it.